You're right guys, welcome to Hopeless Chatter, my name is Gary aka Hopeless and in this video we'll be looking at how I painted this Otto Ranger from the Burrows and Budges uh, tabletop game. As always, if you enjoyed this video please do like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more, uh, every little helps and uh, I'm trying to get on the good side of that uh, YouTube algorithm. If you are interested in seeing how the base was made, uh, that will be done in a separate video soon. I am getting ready to uh, move house again, so <laughs> trying to get a bit of a backlog built up. Anyway, on with the show. I primed the model with Green Stuff World's Grey Matte Surface Primer. I don't quite know how I feel about it, so I much prefer the black one, and then went over with uh, white ink to try and bring out the details. It didn't quite work how I'd planned, but uh, it wasn't too bad, and then once that was dry I went over everything with uh, contrast dark oak flesh and mainly because I didn't want the fur to be one shade of brown so uh, I think it came out all right and then while that was drying I went over the ropes on his side with agaros dunes And then over the leather pouches with snakebite leather. It's a nice dark brown. Very leathery, funnily enough. And that was the same for the quiver on his back. Once the fur was dry, I went over the areas that I wanted darker with uh, wild wood, actually. Um, so I was sort of hoping the dark and the light would mix together. And uh, yeah, I think it came out nicely. And another thing that wild wood is pretty good for doing is actually wood, so uh, that's what I did the bow with. I wanted to try and do a, something a little bit experimental with this, so I used Skeletal Horde to do the leather straps and the uh, sleeping roll that's on his back. Um, I think it came out quite nicely at the end of it, I, I wasn't too sure at this point. Uh, but yeah, it was alright. And purely because I'm starting to think I'm relying a bit too much on contrast paint to do the details, I decided to dry brush over the fur with Deathclaw Brown. very gently with the smallest dry brush I own. I think it came out pretty well. And yes, that is a Paw Patrol plaster on my thumb because I managed to, well, basically jam my thumb straight onto the edge of my uh, my hobby knife, which uh, was fun. Hurt like hell. For the robes, I used Foundry Paint Systems Raw Linen. I got this in a model box uh, subscription a couple of months ago. I can't remember exactly which one, but uh, always wanted to use it and uh, figured I would do it for this one. It did take a couple of coats, but uh, I think it came out quite well. And then once that dried off, I did a bit of touching up on the leather bags with snake bite leather again and decided that uh, the uh, skeletal horde really didn't come out well as the sh on for use on the straps, so I went over that as well. And as I appeared to be in a bit of a uh, used colours I've not used before, I decided to use Valeo's model colour Dark Prussian Blue for the hood. Partially to see what it actually looked like, and um, partially because I thought it would stand out quite nicely against the robe. I think I'm, I think I'm right. Not too sure. I'm still undecided. It was, but it is a nice blue though. And then for the inner hood or the hood lining, however you want to put it, I used, went back to contrast paint and I used a Volpers pink. 
trying not to let it pull too much in the corners. And again, it's going to be my catchphrase soon, as I think it came out alright. And still feeling experimental, I did the knife blade in Coat the Arms Enchanted Blue. I wanted it to sort of look like it was, well, obviously enchanted. Um, now I'm not too sure whether I shook the paint up enough, because it has been sat on my shelf for a while. But after putting down the initial coat, I wasn't too impressed. And it's a pretty similar story with the uh, coat of the arms and chart green. Again, I'm not too sure if I just didn't shake them up enough, but I'm undecided now. I think it looks alright as, as how it came out, but I don't know, part of me thinks I should have shaken up a bit more. And while all that was drying, I broke out my favourite metallic, which is the Grey Knight Steel from Citadel, to go over the knife handle. I don't know why, I just really like this this metallic, the sort of bluey steel. Maybe I should have done that on the blade. Maybe. But saying that, going over the uh, Enchanted Blue with Terrid and Turquoise from the Contrast range, I think came out really nice. And also using the Terrid and Turquoise for the uh, feather wrap around the, uh, the centre of the bow, I think was a good idea too. And then going on to my favourite thing of any model to do, which is the eyes, and I'm actually quite happy with how these ones came out. Uh, I used Corax White to do the white of the eyes, and there was only a little bit of tidying up needed to do, which I'm really happy with, because that does not happen that often. I used Abaddon Black on the tip of a airbrush cleaning wire, um, and I just poked it as uh, centrally as I could, which surprisingly came out really well. Normally when I do eyes, they end up looking a little bit cross-eyed, which... Uh, yeah, I'm actually quite happy I didn't, that, that didn't happen this time. And then I decided that I would shade the robe a little bit to give it a little bit of texture and depth. And for that I used Fire Slayer Flesh but mixed in the contrast medium. And I did this uh, three parts medium to one part flesh. So a very nice washed out... <laughs> a very nice, to be fair, it's a very nice washed out dwarf skin. Which, um, over the linen, I think came out quite nicely. Would have been better if I'd noticed about the focus, but, uh, you know, this is the last bit. And there he is, the Otter Ranger is completed. Um, I finished this off by remaking the base, and I will do that in another video coming soon. As soon as that is up, I will uh, put a link down below. But no, I enjoy painting the Burrows and Badgers game. Uh, miniatures, I think Oath Swan do some really nice well detailed things. As I have said, I will be moving in a couple of weeks, so videos may slow down a little bit, but uh, I will do what I can to uh, to have not that much of an impact on the channel. Um, as always, thank you for watching. If you've gotten all the way through to the end, please do let me know what you think down below in the comments. Give it a like, give it a share, subscribe for more, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. And until the next video, guys, as always, I was Gary, aka Hopeless. Thank you for watching again, and uh, see you soon. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. See ya!